Next up, the most iconic tank series of World War II. At the start of the war, Germany successfully uses tanks as mechanized warheads to break through the Allies' defenses. We look back on it and we almost buy into the German propaganda of the time, which is lots of tanks, lots of air power, when in fact, um, describing the German army as a spear, it's only the head of the spear is actually armored. There is very few German tanks in the German army at the time. They just use them to fantastic effect in 1940. At number five in our top 10 tanks, are the German Panzers Marks 1 through 5. Fastest, Panzer 5, or the Panther, 34 miles per hour. Panzer 1 tanks in 1939, over 1,500. Total Panzer wartime production, over 44,000. After World War I, Germany is banned from making tanks. But when Adolf Hitler comes to power in 1933, mass production is fast-tracked. The Fuhrer sees armored vehicles as central to his plan for a European invasion. He sees a parade of tanks and he says, that's what I want, that's what I've got to have. Because he sees they've got this great propaganda value as well as being a fighting vehicle. Germany soon develops a groundbreaking series of tanks. The Panzer I has thin armor and is the same size as today's average family car. Armed with two machine guns, it weighs 5.4 tons and only has space for two. The Panzer II is larger still and has room for an additional crew member. It weighs 10 tons and has an extra automatic cannon. They are very good, very reliable, well-built tanks. Although designed for training, not combat, they play a crucial role on the battlefield. In 1940, Germany invades France. Hundreds of the Panzer III's and IV's are added to the tank force. Their mobility against a very immobile French army is stunning. All of a sudden, they're miles behind the French front line. They head to the coast. They cut off supply dumps. They seed dissent within the French ranks. The French are retreating from the Meuse River with the fear of tanks before the first German panzer has even crossed. So they have an, a dramatic effect on the campaign in 1940. At the time, actually, everyone was stunned. The Panzer III spearheads the invasion. They're larger and heavier than the earlier models and built to battle enemy tanks. The Panzer III has a high-velocity gun it can fire around like a solid shot with a loss of force behind it to smash its way into an enemy tank. While the Panzer III takes the fight to the enemy, the Panzer IV is equipped with a heavier gun for infantry support. And it can also be more easily modified. What made the Panzer IV special was the fact that it could be developed through a series of upgrades to keep it one step ahead of the British armor. It's very significant in the history of armored warfare because it proved what you can do with a successful basic design and how you can turn it into something that it was never intended to be. It started off life as merely an infantry support tank with a low velocity 75 millimeter gun on it. By 1943, it was being used as one of the German main battle tanks. The Germans also have another technological innovation that the French tanks don't have, radio communication. It was their ability to move at speed and to be able to communicate with each other, which was really crucial. So German tanks and German artillery had radios with which they commu communicate and maneuver very, very swiftly. Germany's aim to build the ultimate battle tank doesn't stop there. 
three years later, the Panzer V, or the Panther as it's known, is introduced. From 1941, Germany and Russia face off all along the Eastern Front. And in 1943, the Panther is deployed to counter the Soviet tanks. However, mechanical faults aren't yet resolved, and they prove to be unreliable on the battlefield. Key new weapons, such as the Panther tank, are, uh, have been rushed into service. The Germans don't really have a chance, uh, and so it proves. And after five days of battle, it's all over. Toward the end of the war, Panzer production slows, and the advantage shifts to the Allies' growing tank force. Despite their ultimate defeat, the German Panzers marks one through five. Come into our top 10 at number five. <laughs>